In the 16th century, a Spanish explorer named Ponce de Leon came through the state of Georgia. He also explored the now state of Florida. In his explorations, he was looking for the Fountain of Youth. This was a mythical fountain that would give the person who drank the water from the fountain or bathed in the water from the fountain everlasting life. We know that here in the continent of America, there are many mystical features and aspects that the natives knew about. It is my belief that the powers that be also knew about the magic of the American continent long before Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Here in Atlanta, we have a major street that goes through our city. This street is called Ponce de Leon. It is named after the Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon. If you're a local here in Atlanta, you just call the street Ponce. Well, on the street, there is a huge building, a building that has served as many businesses through the entirety of its existence. Today, this building has been reconstructed to be a marketplace, a marketplace with restaurants, shops, and lofts up above. This is called Ponce City Market. The legend has it here in Atlanta amongst the locals that that beloved fountain of youth that Ponce was looking for is underneath Ponce City Market. But that fountain of youth is not the only mystical thing in this area. Across the street from Ponce City Market, there used to be a nightclub a nightclub where bands would go to perform. This was called the Masquerade. The Masquerade existed in an old mill. And for decades, ever since the Masquerade was established, there have been legends of a vampire living within the premises of this club. A few years ago, however, Masquerade moved its business down to underground Atlanta. And as any good legend goes, the vampire of the masquerade moved with the masquerade to underground Atlanta, an area that would assure a vampire he would not even come close to seeing the sun. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. As always, such a very, very special thank you to all of our patrons and our producers. Without you, we could not do what we do. You guys mean the world to us. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta, my name is Bryce. And today on part one over our deep dive into Halloween, we're gonna be talking about modern day vampires. So surprise, guys, we have two guests, actually three guest presenters here this morning to talk about our part one into our deep dive into Halloween. We are going to be talking again, as I said in the introduction, about vampires. Before we get into the subject at hand, I do again want to reintroduce our two presenters, our two researchers. Now, many of you guys who have been with me for a very long time followed me over from the dark out post. If it wasn't for David Zublick on the Dark Outpost, I would not have the platform that I have. For over a year now, I still go onto his channel every Tuesday. That's where we're doing the missing books of the Bible. He gave me time to present all of my weird little research I had found during this great awakening. And so starting today, really, we're going to be doing a new once a week collaboration with these awesome two researchers, Christy and Stephanie. Now, again, before we get into the subject at hand, I want to go ahead and show you guys their channels so you can go over and subscribe to them as well. Because apart from this channel, they have their own stuff as well that I don't even cover on Esoteric Atlanta. So let's go ahead and share the screen. How are you ladies doing and you gentlemen doing today? Doing good. Doing High five, baby. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So as you guys see, this is Christy. Christy has truth seeking with Christy. She's already over a thousand subscribers, which is awesome because she does get her little community tab now. 
And for those of you who don't know, with YouTube, we do have a chance to make money off of YouTube, which comes through AdSense, which it does help us. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it does give us a kickback because it does take a lot of time to research this stuff. We don't, um, I mean, ladies, how long does it take for you to research? I mean, hours. It's yeah, hours. when you get into something and something takes you down that rabbit hole, yeah, it can be hours. Yeah, and so it does. And so even though we, we love what we do and we would do it anyway, it does help with the AdSense to get a little bit of kickback to help us maintain our channel so that we can continue bringing you guys this information. And in order to get monetized, you do have to have over a thousand subscribers and you have to hit a certain hourly view. Mm -hmm. view. So go ahead and subscribe to Christy's channel so you can help her, help her out. It doesn't, you know, for those of you who are tight with money, the AdSense doesn't cost you anything. It's just, it's just like you have to have internet anyway. So you can, you know, after five seconds, you can skip the advert, but it, it does help with, with us in our, in our daily lives. Now let's see here. Let me move this down a little bit. Now, uh, Christy did just open up a patron. So if you do want to actually financially help support Christy, you can go over to her Patreon page, which is Truth Seeking with Christy. I love my patrons so much. My patrons have gotten me through a lot. Like I don't think my patrons have any clue what you guys have done to help me maintain this channel. Um, before I started YouTube, actually right as I was starting my YouTube channel, I my business went down with the whole catastrophe of 2020. You guys know it. What I'm talking about, we can't, we have to be careful on YouTube what we say, but I lost my, my income. And so for a long time, I was not making anything on YouTube and I started a Patreon page and my patrons, I mean, I get emotional thinking about them. They have literally gotten me through the darkest hours of this past few years now. And so I'm entirely grateful to my patrons. So if you want to help Christy out, you know, $5 a month, it doesn't cost that much, which patron guys, if, if you do sign up to be a patron for any of our pages, if money gets tight, you there's no like contract you sign for a certain amount of time, you can always step back if you need to T trust me, all three of us ladies and will our gentlemen understand about money being tight. And so that's something it's not a commitment you're making for a specific amount of time. You know, you can, I've had a few patrons come and go because of their finances. Totally fine. But there, there's that. Now, Stephanie has got a newer channel, Spiritual Perspectives, our, our Great Awaken. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm doing great. Awesome. We were commenting before we started filming that she's got a new backdrop, which is amazing. It's beautiful. That's the fun thing about YouTube is you get to design your backdrop and all that kind of stuff. But here is... That's a, a, sorry? That, was a, that was a storm coming in that resembles like a tornado, almost like a tornadic storm, like a wall cloud. And I'm like, oh, the storm is upon us. So I thought it was perfect to put in there. Absolutely. And you guys, so Stephanie is like a Bible. I mean, I know, I, I know I've kind of got the reputation out of being like the Bible girl, but Stephanie really is the Bible girl. I think you, I think Stephanie, you hung on to the church a lot longer than I did in our other lives before this timeline shift. And so you have a really unique perspective into waking up and understanding the corruption in the church and the corruptions within the editing of, of, narr of narratives coming from the church and how those narratives change to control a way of, of mind control, if that makes sense. And so, and Stephanie, I, I know we've all probably, I don't want to speak for all of you, but I, I know for myself that this great awakening has brought me closer to God. Ooh, it hasn't yes. pushed me away from God, even though a lot of these things we thought were so aren't actually so has not changed my it's changed my perspective on God in the sense that it's made me closer to God, but it hasn't pushed me away. And so and I think Stephanie does such a good job on her channel talking about a lot of stuff going on um, in the Bible and seeing things in the Bible that the Bible reads very differently after when you have 2020 vision, it reads very differently, doesn't it? The entire thing, if you really, really get into the nitty gritty, almost the entire Bible is about this time period. Even like if you go into the prophets of Jeremiah and Isaiah and even like the whole thing with Moses and everything and Noah's Ark, like you start to find out God actually repeats prophecies. Yep. Um, it might not look the exact same way. Like, okay, Noah had the big flood. We don't have a flood right now. But he, God is destroying the wicked. Yeah. And most people aren't aware of it. 
but it's like even like certain dates it's so weird how um god uses you know and even though the bible was so manipulated he's still using it for the better and for the good and for to kind of like help and guide us regardless of how manipulated it is um and, and it's more or less you got to like use discernment what yeah. is manipulated and what's not and you feel it in your heart when you start to read it more yeah and we're seeing that with the missing books of the bible we compare it to um to the what we have you can see where things have been edited and it becomes very obvious and it is i said that on david's channel once i was like it becomes so obvious that this is from the from genesis to revelation it's been a battle between the canaanites and the israelites mm -hmm. and it's all there which we're going to get into when we get into our vampire episode now stephanie you're still we want to get stephanie to a thousand subscribers guys so go subscribe to her channel to help her out and get to that number of subscribers where she can have a community tab and where yep. she is then coming into to getting closer to having that AdSense. But Stephanie, you also just opened up a Patreon for people mm -hmm. to help you as well. So you guys, you can go and help Stephanie out on Patreon as well if you want to. And Stephanie also has an Etsy shop, Blue Rose, which we know what that means. It was inspired by the Mary Magdalene, the Order of the Blue Rose. Absolutely. That's why we have the sacred blue tent. It's about blue now. It's not about red, which we Speaking of vampires, we know what that red was all about, which we're going to get into. So she's got some beautiful jewelry in here, guys, and Christmas is coming. So go ahead and check out her Etsy shop. That's gorgeous, Stephanie. That's absolutely gorgeous. So I will put all the links down in the description box below here on YouTube for their channels, their patrons, and for Stephanie's Etsy shop. Now, guys, so... Obviously, this is part one on our, our, our deep dive into Halloween, and we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about vampires. Wah, ha, 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 ha. But of course, as everybody watching knows, we're not going to be talking about vampires in the way that most people speak about vampires when it comes to Halloween. So with that being said, we are going to have to move the rest of this conversation over to Rumble because I think you guys know why. So... Go ahead and look again down in the description box, right where you see all of their links. You're going to see a link to the full deep dive into vampires. Christy is going to uh, do her research into, I'm, I'm not going to give it away quite yet. We'll wait for Rumble. And then uh, Stephanie is going to talk about this practice in the Bible. So guys, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Follow us over to Rumble where the cool kids are so we can have an open conversation about something that we thought was myth, but might not be so. All right, guys, see you over on Rumble. See us.